Well, uh, here we are. Hiking on one of the relatively unmarked trails. I'm sure it'll eventually connect with the, in the marked trails here. So this is from the last rain. Or the winter, for sure. Quite a bit. Wash out. Bet you there's some gold down there somewhere. Dug deep enough. Well, what I'm wondering about is when you look a little closer, this looks like rock that's been from dynamiting, from a blast. Although there's definitely river rock in here too, but you see how it's all broken, shattered type of rock. Relatively recent shattering. Makes you wonder, makes me wonder what's going on here. Or what went on here 100 years ago when there's logging going on. Now, when you look at these trees, none of them are uh, more than 80 years old. White Douglas fir, good thing. And here's the unmarked trail. And I will continue on. Some negative space between these siblings. So fix the exposure. Well, yeah. There you go. A couple of old growth still in the park. Hoary. Well, definitely out of life. So here we are. It's not the top exactly. Relatively close. Looks like we're up pretty high, probably 100 meters or less vertical from the top. And here we are. There's the Fulford Valley and there's the park or going day over there. And uh, this is what it's like on Salt Spring on a rainy day. <laughs> there's so many raindrops. We're actually turning into clouds before your eyes. <laughs> Here we are at the top. The first lookout on Mount Maxwell. There's the sun, just in time for the sun to come out a bit. I don't know if you can see it. Where did it go? It's right up there. It's the brightest part of the picture. And that's the valley, shrouded in mist. And over there is Fulford Harbor. So it's a very gentle rain. I wouldn't necessarily suggest going for a hike on a day like this unless you're used to the slippery rocks. But here we are. And we is the royal we, of course. I am sovereign of my own footpath. Or is it even mine?